All right, in this video, I'm going to create the shaft support. So this one is a little bit, it's a little bit complicated, not going to lie. It's nothing we can't handle though. We got this. All right, so the dimensions are going to be in millimeters. So that means we're going to use the metric template, standard millimeters. We're going to create that bad boy. I'm going to first start my 2D sketch on this flat plane here. And I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. So the top reads correctly here. Um, I'm going to create the, the three circles that I need. So the first one is going to be a circle with a radius of 40 right in the middle. So I'm going to dimension this, right click, change it to radius. This is going to be 40. And then on both sides of that, there's going to be a, some smaller circles, just somewhere over here, somewhere over here. Actually, you know what I should have done? Let me, let me redo those. I'm just going to draw them like up here. Probably not in line with each other. Just draw some random circles up here. Uh, and the reason I did that, I'll, I'll let you know. So I'll let you know in a minute. Just be patient. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I'm going to dimension these. So this is going to have a diameter of 15. And then this, they're going to be equal. So these two are equal. I'm going to then use my horizontal constraint because this way I can make sure that they're in line with the center point there. The center point is in line with this. And then I'm going to um, dimension these so I know that these two are a hundred apart. 100 millimeters apart and I also know that I want to kind of move these over here let's kind of grab the center moved it over a little bit so now I can dimension from the center to one of these and that's going to be it's going to be I'm going to click this and divide it just by two so now they're both equal on the same side. Um, that has a radius of 40, right? So yeah, so that would be... Uh, okay, and then I need, I need a circle from the center of here. And this is going to be... This is going to have a radius... Uh, wait, wait, wait. That has, let me, let me do that again. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to right click radius. This has a radius of 22. Like so. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to cheat though. I'm going to make these. So I already have this one dimension. So whenever I make these two equal, it's going to. This one's going to be 22 also. Then what I want to do is I'm going to draw a line from this circle. I try not to snap it on that quadrant because that locks it in. You can't move it after that. So I try to move it over off the quadrant just somewhere on this line or on the circle and then draw another line somewhere over here same thing here draw a circle uh that may not have that may not have been good let me try so I use my uh, tangent constraint, so 
I want this to be tangent to here, and then this to be tangent to this circle. Yeah, that worked. And then I'm going to draw a line from this circle to this circle. I don't want to lock it in place anywhere. Or snap it in place. Uh, now I can use my tangent. So I want this and these to be tangent. This and this circle to be tangent. I want this line and this circle tangent. These two. These two. These two. So you see I have my tangent constraint markers there. So that was kind of a, you know, that was kind of challenging, but we got that. Now I just want to trim out the stuff that I don't need. So I don't need that or that or that or this. I don't need that or that or that or that or that. Wait, I don't need that. All right, there we go. So there's the base part, right? Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to finish my sketch. I'm going to extrude it down. So flip it and that's going to be, uh, looks like 18 for my depth here. All right. So there's that part. Moving on to the kind of the top standing part. So what I want to do for that is I'm going to go to where you see my origin here. There's a little plus sign next to it. I'm going to click that. I want to turn on. I want to turn on this YZ plane, the visibility of that, because that's right in the middle, and that's where I want to. I want to sketch my uh, my standing part thingy on that plane. So I'm going to start 2D sketch on that plane. Did it work? I didn't really pick anything, but all right. So what I want to do here is kind of create that standing piece. Um, so that's 67 millimeters wide. And the height of that circle is 58. So I'm going to, let me project geometry. I'm going to project this. Edge. Do I want to project that? Uh, nah, I don't need to. All right, let me just draw a line from here up. So that's going to be 58. And that's going to be where the center of the circle is. So that circle, there's one circle, there's another one. I'm just going to draw two. Right there. So the outer circle has a diameter of 46. This one has a diameter of 46. 46. The inner one has a diameter of 30. So that's 30. And then, so it's going to be, it's going to have a line come off. So, um, what I could do is, what is 67 divided by 2? All right, so it's 33.5. I, I had to count on my fingers. Uh, so I'm going to draw a line from the center here over to the left. 33.5. And then from there, I'm going to come up to touch the circle here somewhere right about there. And then I'm going to draw another line from the center here over to the right, 33.5. And then I'm going to bring it up to touch the circle. Now I want to use my tangent constraint again. So a tangent this line to the circle, this line to that circle, and... I think we're kind of good. I'm going to delete this line here and this one too. And this one, this middle one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw, just draw a line now all the way across from this end to this end. 
I didn't want to have two little short lines there. Um, I think we're going to be good there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to finish my sketch. And I'm going to extrude. Let's see. What do I want to do first? I want to extrude this bottom part here. And it's going to go in both directions. So symmetric. And that's going to have a, a thickness of 18, which it does. So I'm going to hit OK there. I'm going to go to sketch two and turn the visibility of that bad boy on. So now I can grab, extrude this donut looking thing here. And it's going to go symmetric. And that's going to have a, a distance of 40, like so. And yeah, I'm going to hit OK here. So now I'm going to turn off the visibility of the sketch too. I'm going to turn off the work plane here, the, the YZ plane. Turn that off the home up here so yeah there's our our sh shaft support i'm looking at to make sure we got it all yeah so it looks good um i'm going to go up to view and you know do my little fancy stuff i don't need the ground plane shadows photo booth i'm going to smooth Smooth ivory there. I'm going to save it as shaft support. Shaft support. Hit the save. All right. So yeah, there we go. That wasn't, that wasn't as bad as I had originally expected. All right. So next we're going to do, which one is the next? Next one is the event cover. That one looks kind of wonky, but we'll get through that too. All right, so see y'all next lesson. Peace. Like and subscribe.